Number 5. Moluca Sea Plate This microplate has the unfortunate circumstance of being subducted on two sides. With no mid-ocean ridge to replenish itself, it will one day completely disappear and sink into the mantle. In fact, most of this plate is already under the mantle. Number 4. Australian Plate There is a general confusion whether the Australian Plate should also include the Indian Plate. While the two plates generally move north, the Indian Plate moves much more slower due to the collision with the Eurasian Plate, which forms the Himalayas. Meanwhile, the Australian Plate is smoothly subducting under the Sunda Plate. This has caused compression in the boundary between the Indian and Australian Plates, resulting in the 2012 Indian Ocean earthquakes. Number 3. Farallon Plate This ancient tectonic plate mostly exists under the North American Plate, deep within the mantle. However, it has remnants still in the surface, like the Juan de Fuca Plate, Cocos, and Nazca Plates. This plate mostly disappearing from the surface is also responsible for the formation of the San Andreas Fault. Number 2. Amor Plate You might look at this plate and say that it's just an extension of the Eurasian Plate. Nothing special about it. Hey, most of its borders are rather flat. However, this plate, which moves in a slightly different direction than the Eurasian Plate, is responsible for the 1976 Tangshan earthquake, one of the deadliest earthquakes in history. Number 1. Aegean Sea Plate Being sandwiched between the Eurasian, African, and Anatolian plates, you will think that this microplate, like the Anatolian plate next to it, would get crushed, and therefore form mountains. Then why does the Aegean Sea even exist? Well, turns out, this plate is being stretched and compressed at the same time. As the African plate dies beneath the Aegean Sea plate, it drags part of the African plate with it, causing it to stretch.